Uh, on to another story this morning. One in eight adults have already shopped for Christmas presents and food earlier than usual this year. That's according to the Office for National Statistics, who report that in the past fortnight, 12% of the adults surveyed say they've bought items they'd usually purchase closer to the festive break. A further 3% say they have uh, pre-ordered items they would usually leave until later. Companies such as Curry's and Very are already ahead of the curve, becoming the first two major retailers to launch Black Friday sales. Oh gosh, it's about three weeks till Black Friday as well. I'm already talking about it. Mm. Uh, so why exactly then have Brits started shopping for Christmas already? Uh, let's talk to Kate Hardcastle. She joins us now. She's, of course, an award-winning consumer expert, and she's here to answer that very question. Good to see you, Kate. Thanks for joining us. Look, we all know the Brits. We love a good deal, don't we? But are we just obsessed with buying things? I think that has really started to change and evolve and we've got quite a part of the waves of how people are reacting, particularly to the messages about any potential shortages and wanting to make sure they're going to have a tremendous Christmas after last year and a very difficult year this year too. And also those people who are making very conscious very clear decisions about the fact that they would like to consume less. Now, that couldn't be more appropriate in a week where we're seeing leaders gather from around the world in Glasgow to talk about climate change and the impact of things like manufacturing. So I think we've actually, it would be unfair to say it's one way or the other. Some people are still relishing the idea of going out, getting a bargain and enjoying everything that the build up to Christmas and other festive celebrations will have. But actually, there is starting to be a tipping of the balance. And we're seeing more and more people say, actually, what I have, I'm happy to buy at a quality and I want to keep it. Or the recycled economy, which we're seeing a lot more items stay around for longer and actually have re reissuing or reselling. Okay, is I mean, it's one in 12, right? One in 12 that we're talking about here that are buying, that's buying stuff early. Is that higher than normal? And I'm wondering if it is, how, what, whether the labour shortages and the shortages of other stuff um, or talked about shortages, they're not necessarily materialising, are feeding yeah. that. Absolutely. We had a month of pretty much daily messages saying there will be shortages. We had messaging from the key retailers advising us that although shelves wouldn't be empty, we should certainly think about any items that we want to buy early doing so. And I think there's also a financial thing. We've also heard very much about fuel crises, uh, the, the increase in terms of uh, costs there. People trying to budget will often try and spread the cost of Christmas, so they'll buy a little bit at a time. That is not to say that hearing something like a big sale with huge advertised discounts still doesn't work. In, we know that retail now is as much online as it is offline, but certainly the thrill of the chase, the idea of missing out on something, of a coveted item, is certainly something that really still appeals to many consumers. And that's why you stats are absolutely right. It's this mixed picture. And I think the mixed element is creating some challenge for a lot of consumers generally. What's the right thing to do? What should I be buying? Where should I be buying it? But certainly one thing that retail's noticed is consumers are taking control. They have more information at their fingertips than ever before. They know how to search those prices out. And you can simply not open a store anymore and have bargains in there or suggested bargains and people will just buy. They're going to be browsing on those phones straight away. Is this the right price? Can I get it better elsewhere? We call that showrooming. And that's certainly something that retailers are having to work to counterbalance in the way that we look at this new era of retail. Yeah, and it's so interesting, Kate. I know that you were up in Glasgow this week and speaking to retailers, and we've heard, haven't we, off the back of the conference, I think five supermarkets committing to halving the environmental impact of the weekly shop. They're making it possible, basically, for consumers to shop guilt-free. They don't have to think about it. And is that, as you say, the tipping point that we're beginning to see, that retailers are really waking up to the change in, well, societal views, really? Absolutely right, Isabel. So, you know, research says that about two thirds of consumers are very aware and want to buy better, but they feel com they feel the issues can be quite complex, that they feel the information isn't communicated in an effective way. And this is where I'm pushing retailers back. I love retail. It's a, a fantastic industry, but we need to work better as do the manufacturers to make that process easier. If the consumers are willing and want to put the time into buying that way, they shouldn't feel at any point that there's misinformation or it's difficult to do so. And there's some easy changes that supermarkets, manufacturers of products can still make about clarity on is product 
is that product recyclable? Is it is what's the best thing to do with it at end of life, etc. So I absolutely think there is so many easy wins when it comes to uh, the climate, and I think that's what we've been talking about today. Let's not be negative about baby steps that are being taken by organisations. It can really simply put organisations and the consumer off completely if they think they can never win. What we've got to do is celebrate the small to aim towards the big, and we've got to make sure there's more connectivity businesses, consumers, in how we do this. So we're all speaking the same language. Hey, have you done any of your Christmas shopping yet? It would be remiss of me not to have a few items on the way to Santa because I think they're important. But, you know, I have spent so much time of late saying to friends who are grown-ups, shall we do something different this year? Shall we spend time together? And so it's, you know, more about my family having presents maybe than presents. Yeah, experiences, yeah. not things. That's yeah. the new mantra. And I get overwhelmed you... by gifts for my kids. I know, I know they love it, yes. but in my small yeah. house, I'm like, no more yeah. things. Please. Yeah, and, and good if you've got family <laughs> that you actually do want to spend time with as well. <laughs> oh, <lovely. laughs> I must be very lucky. Uh, lovely to see you, Kate. Thanks for coming on. Always good to have you on the show. See you soon.